Wave 3 News was first to tell you that Tark planned to hire off-duty police officers to patrol its buses after a deadly stabbing last month, and now we know how much they're paying for it. Wave 3 News reporter Theo Keith has been breaking new information on this story since the beginning. And Theo, what's that price tag so far? Scott, we discovered that Tark has spent more than 22 grand for the officers over the past month. So is that a knee jerk reaction to the stabbing or simply the cost of keeping people safe? The stabbing aboard a Tark bus that killed 14 year old McQuail Offit in March sparked mob violence. Now the city is spending thousands of dollars to reassure the public. Records obtained by Wave 3 News show at least $22,460 in invoices spent on officers providing security for Tark. What we have to do to ensure that safety should not have to be $22,000 a month, but we'll see. Council members called it an awfully big number, but money well spent. It shows no signs of stopping either. Earlier this month, Tark sent this memo to Metro Police officers. Tark wanted armed, uniformed officers on buses from 8 p.m. until 1 in the morning. They would get $25 an hour to ride high priority routes, including down Broadway, which is where the stabbing happened. The, the issue is we don't want crime to occur. We don't want to have victims. We want people to feel safe and secure when they ride public transportation. A TARC spokeswoman says the agency will keep monitoring its security and spend to the appropriate level within the budget. Council members say they're willing to listen if TARC needs more money to keep the officers on board. It's not something that, that we would run away from. I think we struck a chord with the activity that happened on March the 22nd, and I think an immediate reaction, an immediate response uh, was, was needed, and I think they did, I would support it. The records show at least 13 Metro officers have expressed interest in the part-time gigs. Tark already had five security officers before last month. Theo Keith, Wade 3 News.